Hi, I'm Jim Bradley from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're here to talk about positioning for medial and lateral roots along with an ACL. This is the new point-to-point -point medial and lateral meniscal root repair guide to get you exactly where you need to be. It has a, an added feature that allows you to swivel and lock the point either right or to the left, either way, to get the perfect angle to approach your meniscal root repair. So this is the point-to-point -point guide. I tend to put it medially through the medial portal. And then what I can do is I can, you can hold it in. And then down below, you can see you have any variable angle that you want that I can make to, to avoid this tunnel. So in this case, I'm, I've, I've chosen to stay away from the tunnel almost at 70 degrees to get, to get up there. But, but I could literally move that down if I wanted and, and, and make it even more than that. But I tend to be somewhere around 70, which will avoid my tibial tunnel, which was drilled like at 47 degrees. So one of the pearls to this system, this is a 2.4 millimeter uh, drill. In the middle of it, there's an obturator. So when you drill through the tibia, what happens is a piece of bone may get stuck in the end of the cannulated part of the drill. And what you have to do is disengage this cannula and then re-engage it. And when you re-engage it, what happens, that little piece of bone that you saw will pop out of there. And that's kind of helping you to for the, your passing device. So one of the pearls on this is, the re and the reason we have it at 48 degrees or 50, um, your tibial tunnel for your ACL, and then 70 degrees for your roots with the new guide, is uh, that will keep the drill out of the tunnel. So what we do is we sneak out the tibial tunnel, we take our scope and we simply put it in our tibial tunnel and make sure that there is no metal in there so you know your guide pin is not there. Now that's the guide itself up there, but there's no other metal in the uh, tunnel. So I feel pretty comfortable with that. And you reinsert your plug and now you're ready to continue with the operation. So now we're ready to take the, the point to point guide off. And the easiest way to do it is to remove the little flip, pull it away from you and simply slide it out like that and you're basically done with that part of the procedure. As opposed to other systems that you have to keep this plugged in there, this one you do not. You can take the guide right off because this is a cannulated system. One of the other beauties of this is this is only a 2.4 millimeter pin, and the other ones are usually about 3.5, which gives you more of a chance to engage your tibial tunnel from your ACL. One of the pearls with this is sometimes this gets stuck a little bit, so you can use a coker or something to unwind it because it's very tiny, but sometimes this will get a little engaged and just use a coker and just spin it a little bit and it'll come right out. We're now gonna move the scope from the lateral portal into the medial portal and view the horn of the medial meniscus. You then place your point to point guide. See the problem is, see how it's the angle's different now? So what you do is, this is the beauty of this, you take this and you change the angle so that you can easily get to the medial root. There's the medial root, there's my angle. I can spin it. Now, if you look down here below, you can see that I'm at 70 degrees. I'm away from my, my ACL tunnel. The anterior cortex of the tibia is right here. And so we can easily drill Okay, there's my pin right back there. So if you look down below, you can see the beauty of this is this allowed me to spin the head this way to make it very easy for me to get where I want to on the, on the root in the back corner. The one thing I would say to you is you wanna make sure you're posterior enough with this. Now we're going to remove the guide, flip the bottom, open, simply pull the guide out, and we're, we're at our root. And then what we wanna do is we remove this, and now we can take our plug out, and we can once again look up our tunnel, 
and you can see that there is no, there's no metal in the tunnel. If there was, you could change the orientation somewhere between 45 to 50 at 70 degrees on the point to point, and my lateral is 70, it's more lateral. So using that, you will avoid uh, any convergence uh, of your root repairs uh, with your tibial tunnel.